Okay, it went down. I love it. How are you? <laughs> I told you we're just blue and you're wearing a shirt with flowers. Oh, did you see this blue? It's all right. Fuck, well, I just helped me with dressing. How's everybody doing? All right. So good to be back in New York. You people are all so fucking beautiful. <laughs> no, not mine. I'm very lonely. I want, to, I want to make love to each of you. Line up here. Don't take long. Tip you, George. You can stay right there. I'm, I'm going to skip you. No offense. Been there, done that. You've been there, done that? Right. <laughs> Party animal. Anybody knows the Irish kid was beautiful. Where is he? Me? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, you're cute. The black guy, anybody notice the black dude's dick oh, was okay. busting out of the zipper? Or was I the only one that saw that? Yes. Do you notice his yeah. cock was like busting right up? I'm gonna call him sir for now. Sir! Anybody whose dick is still busting out of their zipper, I'm calling sir. Because I'm 51, my dick does not bust out of my zipper anymore, baby. Look, I'm making a little Russian chick laugh. I'm not I love little. That. You're not little, but you're little me. Still, let me tell you something. Hold on, let me move this mic so it makes me look a little fat. Uh -huh. See, it's not that funny anymore. That was a lot funnier when I was 150 pounds heavier. That don't want to hit heavy. Let me, hold on, I think I gotta rewrite that one. You guys are gonna help me, all right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Hey, everybody, okay, let me move this mic so it makes my cough look small. <laughs> Get it? Because it never made me look fat. I was just fucking fat. Uh -huh. It doesn't make my cock look small, just fucking small. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, is this sexual harassment now? Because I haven't been up here in a while. Everything's sexual harassment now. Those two chicks in the back made me a little bit stiff when they said they like sex. The guy was talking about sex. I was like, ooh, that doesn't really happen too much anymore. Thank you, girls. Beautiful. No, because I don't harass anybody. I don't even get laid, really. Honestly, I have a team of NASA scientists tied up in my hotel room. They're not allowed out until they get me late. Like, fuck world hunger, fuck rocket fuel crisis, fuck the environment. I gotta get late, I'm running out of time, George. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about you, but I'm 51, I'm running out of time. So, they're in my fucking hotel room. we got the one guy with the sly rule, little nerd, he's like, let me see, the <laughs> obtuseness of that giant belly versus the acuteness of that tiny penis. We don't see a way, Mike. Sorry. I'm like, well, fuck it. You guys can't get out of here until you figure it out. So you know the only way they figured out they could get me leaving? They're sending me to Thailand. This was what they came up with. There's a bar there called Typhoon Mary's. In there, there's a prostitute named Rosie that will do anything to anybody for $112 US. Anything. So I'm like, fuck it. I got to get on a plane right now. I got to get this done. I'm running out of time. So I go to Thailand. I get off the plane. Some little fucker with like the little rich show, you know, what are, what are those things called? The cab you sit on towards and they run? Whatever the fuck they are, right? So I get in there and I go, listen, get me the Typhoon Mary's. He goes, oh, you're going to see Rosie. You got $112? I go, yeah, I got $112. Get me there. We pull up Typhoon Mary's. I walk in. I see the old lady running the place. I go, hurry up. Where's Rosie? And she goes, oh, you got $112. I got $112. Fuck. She points to the only obese woman in Thailand. Really? I was like, fuck. <laughs> well, I gotta get this done. Come on upstairs. So we go upstairs. She goes, you got the $112. Here's the fucking $112. Take it. Come on, I'm tired of this shit. Next thing you know, she goes, oh, okay, here's $112. Good. Take your pants off. I take my pants off. And she looks and she goes, oh, oh no. I don't do that, y'all. I go, what? You said, I came halfway around the world. I heard you do anything for $112. She goes, no, you got no toy toy. I don't do that. Put your pants back on. Here's your $112. And you know what she did? Uh -huh. She called the cops on me. Because evidently, if you're in Thailand with no, no dick, they figure you're up to no good. <laughs> so, yeah. So the cops come. They grab me. They, they're trying to lock me up. I go, what are you doing? They're like, put you up no dick. I go, I got a dick. Look, it's right here. They go, no, that's not dick, Joe. Maybe a big clitoris. <laughs> you know, they can't say clitoris over there. I said, all right, well, look, I can't go to jail in Thailand. What are I going to do? You go, give me the $112 you got for Rosie and just get the fuck out of town. So I went all the way to Thailand. I got fucked, but I didn't get laid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So come and see us tomorrow night if you guys are around, anybody's around. We're having a big show. Dan Adder is going to be here. My friend Larry Bay is going to be here. Gladys will be here. I'll be here. We're going to have a great time. But thank you. Thank you. It was so good to be back. Woo!